Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Battlefield 1943 commentary because I pretty much ran out of Battlefield 3 gameplay. Uh, seeing as though I really don't play Battlefield 3 that much anymore. Um, if like the last time I played it was probably a month ago even more. Uh, Battlefield 3 just kind of got repetitive and boring to me. Uh, and 1943 is just a game that's always a new experience in a way. Uh, but anyways, I haven't even been playing much video games lately. Uh, except for Arma 2, that game is fucking hilarious. If you guys ever go on Arma 2, look up the Takistan Life Re Revolution server, and uh, you'll see me on there. My name is Ivan Miller on there. Uh, if you see me, don't be afraid to say hi or anything like that. Um, we can even roll together in the car or whatever if you are on the, the cop side. It, I'm serious, if you ever get on that server, the funniest shit happens. Uh, people get pissed and people are like assholes and trolls and stuff like that. Uh, but if you ever get the chance to play on that server, uh, you might see me on there. Um, as for uh, the Marine Corps, I'm not going to be leaving tomorrow. They pushed my uh, ship date to the 22nd, so technically my ship date is the 21st uh, for boot camp. Um, no particular reason for pushing it back. Uh, maybe it was just paperwork issues and stuff like that because um, I haven't even taken the IST yet, uh, which is the initial strength test. Um, I've taken actually like part of it. Uh, I was able to do more than like 10, pu 10 pull ups. Uh, I was able to do more than 60 crunches in two minutes. Um, the only part that I haven't taken is the one, one and a half mile run, which I have to do in 12 minutes and 30 seconds for my RSS. Uh, and that, that's pretty much, I, I believe RSS means recruiting station section. I'm not completely sure, but, uh, my RSS wants me to do 12 minutes and 30. Uh, 12 minutes to 30 seconds for the one and a half mile run, which is um, a little bit more than the standard for the Marine Corps. Uh, but I'm sure I could run one and a half miles in less than 12 minutes and 30 seconds uh, because of the fact that I like I never pictured myself as being a runner. But just the other day, uh, my uh, my squad and I, because uh, every like every recruiting station. Uh, they gather up all the poolies, everybody uh, going to the Marine Corps or that already have their ship date, even applicants, which are people who are in the process of doing it, or even guests, which are people who just show up and are talking about doing it. Uh, they gather them all up, and Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 4.30, uh, we do PT, physical training. And the last time I went, which was, I think, last Monday, um, we ran over 10 miles, and I only started feeling tired uh, from the 10 mile run towards the very end. I guess that's just my, in my mind, m mentally, my mind is thinking, oh, the ending is almost here, so I'm just going to start giving up. It it's the same way when I do push ups, I do like over 100 push ups. Let's say I'm going to do 120, and the whole 110 will be fine. Like, I'll feel like freaking Superman doing those push ups. But when I reach the last 10, that final stretch, my mind is just like, yep, gonna go into couch potato mode. And it's just, it's always the, the last stretch that's the hardest for some reason. But, you know, I'd rather have it that way than I have problems with the run or with the pull-ups or with the push-ups throughout the entire thing. Uh, because then that'll be a pain in the ass. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed the run a lot. Uh, we ran on a day that it was kind of rainy. And we, went, we ran through this park that had, like, the sprinkler system on for, like, the children. But there were no children there. So we just ran around and the fucking sprinklers got wet. And then continued on with our run. Uh, and also stopped for some water. Um, but that's what I've been doing uh, this last, like, month that you haven't seen a video. I've been preparing myself mentally, physically, uh, spending time with family. My mom's birthday recently passed. I believe today we're going to be taking her out to eat uh, because my mom's birthday was on July 4th. And for those of you guys who don't know what July 4th is in, in the United States, it's our uh, Independence Day. It's a national holiday. And everybody fucking has the day off. So uh, taking your parents out to eat on Independence Day would just be traffic, traffic, and long waiting times for, uh, for any restaurant. So we're going to take her today. Um, and, oh my god, uh, the fireworks. Uh, it was freaking hilarious watching the fireworks. Uh, in New York City fireworks are banned i believe in the entire new york state fireworks are banned except if you have a license uh but for july 4th the cops really don't give a shit because so many people are doing fireworks if they try to arrest everybody their jail cells would be like packed you know it'd be just overflowing um so i was watching like uh the people in my neighborhood were doing fireworks and they threw like this long strip of firecrackers on the ground 
and it's about a five minute strip they light it up and they just let it go and it's just like it's it's like a sound of an ak just firing for five minutes straight like if that was an actual ak this guy would have like a freaking unlimited ammo glitch you know he'd be hacking he'd be like that guy from uh the walking dead uh herschel that if for the for those of you guys who remember that part where he was with the shotgun and i know like the shotgun that he has i think it's a eight round capacity but he ended up firing like over 30 rounds without reloading yeah, they, it's like that guy. So they threw it in the middle of the street. They stopped the traffic. And there's like traffic building up. Lo and behold, the car, the first car waiting, is an undercover police car. It, it's an unmarked police car. It has detectives in it. So <laughs> the, the police didn't do anything. Like they stopped and they stayed there and they watched it. Then when the firecrackers finished, they stood there with their siren on. Uh, there's this new siren that the police have here in New York City. It's called the Rumbler. And not only do you hear it, you feel it. Uh, I've spoke about this before in previous commentaries, but maybe you haven't watched those. But you, you hear it and you feel it. You feel the vibration of it. Not to the point where it feels like an earthquake or Godzilla's coming down the fucking street. But you feel it in the sense that you know something. You know the cops are trying to stop you. That's for people who are playing loud music or whatever. Or when they're about to go into an in intersection. Just in case somebody isn't paying attention, they feel it and they know that the cops are coming, whatever. But he stood there with that siren on for about five minutes straight. And I realized why he did that. He did that because the, the firecrackers were going off for five minutes straight. So the people trolled the cops and the cops trolled the people. So that, that was just an epic part of July 4th. And um, even like during the firecrackers, people were like doing other firecrackers behind and everything like that. And, the cops don't care. They just keep on going. I mean, it, people can get hurt, but the majority of people who get hurt from firecrackers, 90 to 95% fireworks, firecrackers, is by their own stupidity. You know, they, they light it up, and it doesn't go off, and they go check on it. Like, they're looking at it, and, they, and then it blows up, and then they die or some shit like that. Or the idiots who do stupid shit with fireworks. Like, one guy who tried to hold an M80 in his hand and ended up having his, uh, his entire hand blown off. Uh, that happened in like it didn't happen in my state. It didn't happen this year, but I read that story it happened in another state. I think um, I think it was Nevada or something like that years and years ago. This guy got his entire hand blown off, and then he tried to blame it on fireworks not being banned. That's that's just it's stupid, but some people do that. Uh, but anyways, my new ship date July 22nd. Uh, that's in about two weeks. I get to go to that big paintball game, by the way. Uh, which is a good, which is a plus side of having my ship date pushed back. I'm really anxious to go to boot camp. You know, I'm not scared. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, not wanting to go. I want to go. I want to get this done. Um, it's just, I know it's going to suck. Boot camp's going to suck. But after a while, like everybody says, every Marine, the first week always cries for their parents and everything like that. They get homesick. And then after that, you start getting used to it. It gets tough. And then your body just gives up on giving up. You know, you're it like, it's like, your body always fights things that's new, you know, and the the boot camp is going to be something new to my body, you know, every single day doing crazy shit. And uh, after a while, my body's just going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to fight it anymore. Let's just do it. And that's the way it's going to be. Uh, but I believe I'll get through it. I have no doubt in my mind that I will not get through boot camp uh, without a doubt, because being a Marine is something that I've always wanted and something I want so bad. I will eat dog shit for it. <laughs> like, I will physically pick up dog shit off the ground from New York City and munch on that shit like it's from Taco Bell, even though I don't even eat Taco Bell. Uh, but I will munch on dog shit to become a Marine. So uh, I'm pretty sure boot camp is going to be uh, a quote-unquote fun time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope you guys are doing well yourselves, enjoying your summer, enjoying uh, your holiday weekend. For those of you guys who, just, uh, who are in the U.S. just past, you know, July 4th, even though it was on a Thursday, I know a lot of people took that Friday off. Nobody, you know, stays away from work on Thursday and goes back Friday just to have Saturday and Sunday off. Nobody does that. Uh, so I know my mom and my sisters, they took the Friday off. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope you guys are doing good. And uh, leave your comments or whatever in the comment section below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe for no content in the future because uh, I'm going to be going to boot camp for three months so the content on this channel is going to be like at bar none for a while uh until i probably come back or do whatever um but there will be content again in the future i'm not saying that there'll never be a video so uh subscribe if you're interested and i hope you guys enjoyed it until next time peace